On today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can accessorize your patio or porch with a very small budget. Keep watching. Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because on our last video, Jamison and I show you how we started our process to decorating our patio. We moved the furniture around, we cleaned, we deep cleaned everything. Deep cleaned everything. Actually, Jamison even had his own uh, leaf blower. So this patio is clean and it's now time to accessorize. And I'm gonna show you that you do not have to go out to the stores and buy a whole bunch of things to accessorize any area in your home. And as a matter of fact, we're gonna use things that we already have around the house and projects that we've already worked on. So if you are interested in this little patio makeover, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and share with your friends. If you are interested in more decorating ideas, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn the notification bell. And if you want to see Jameson and more videos, leave me the hashtag Jameson so he knows that he should appear on this channel more often. All right, you guys, let's get started. Hey, you guys, so I had already paid at the store, but I saw these plants and they were on sale. As you guys can see, this guy right here, it's only $16.97, but it's on sale for $7, so it's the right time to get it. Then this guy right here is also in clearance. I don't know if you can see right here. So I had to turn around and come and pay for them. All right, everyone, so I wanted to show you how I replant these few plants that I purchased. If you guys saw last year's video for the makeover of the patio, then you know that I went shopping at Ikea and all the places, and I bought a whole bunch of accessories. Well, this year the stores are not open and we cannot go out shopping. However, you can accessorize your patio with a few plants. If you guys have not seen last year's uh, makeover, I'm gonna link it up so you can check it out. It was absolutely beautiful. But for this year, what we're gonna do is we're gonna replant a few plants. So I'm basically gonna start by putting some of this dirt down here. And I bought these plants and they were on sale. So I made sure that they were on sale because, well, you know, we're here in a budget, so. And I wanna also mention that when you plant a plant like this, you have to make sure that there's a lip, about a two inch lip, so this one has way too much dirt because you want the water to be able to go down. This is about perfect. And so what you do is you basically just put dirt in here. And I'm so excited to use old plants for the patio because I wanted more of a garden look and feel this year versus last year's. It was overly accessorized and it was really beautiful. However, I feel like it needed to be a little bit more organic looking. So this one's done, just shake it down a little bit, make sure that it has that two inch lip. And this guy is ready to be placed. So we're gonna do this fern next. Same thing with it. With these ferns, I just like to take them out of the container first. By the way, thumbs up if you are enjoying this video. I'm having so much fun showing you guys all of these ideas for your patio. All right, so we're gonna do basically the same thing. And I love this organic dirt. So I just put a little bit on the bottom and then I'm gonna measure that this guy sits right. I want it to be a little taller. So I need to put a little bit more dirt on the bottom. A few scoops. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you like to decorate with plants. I just think, like I mentioned before, it's such an organic look. And the more plants you have on your patio or your garden, the prettier it looks. All right, so I'm just gonna finish planting these plants. I'm gonna take them to their spot and I'll be right back with you. Keep watching. All right, you guys, before I take them over to their final destination, I'm gonna make sure that I water them. So I'm just gonna put a little water on them, make sure that that soil is wet. All right, everyone, so the very first thing we're going to do to accessorize is we're gonna bring back all of our plants. And the cool thing about our plants is because we have gathered our collection of terracotta pots. I think it's very important that if you're gonna have a variety of green plants in your home that you have the same pot. And in this case, I love terracotta. What do you think about terracotta? Well, it goes with everything, it's classic. Can't go wrong with it. It is very classic. So let us put the plants back in. I will show you and explain a little bit about it. Stay tuned. All 
All right, everyone. So I wanted to show you a few accessories that we have gathered throughout the months here in San Diego. These candlesticks actually came from a thrift store. They're made out of metal and they really bring a lot of height. Now, the other cool thing is because these candles right here, they're hollow inside and I just drop a little votive in them to light them up. And it's like you have a real candle. So these guys were $5.95 for both. So we're gonna go ahead and put those towards the back over here. And that way we're gonna have some source of light and mood light for the evening. And I want to talk about her. She also came from another thrift store a few years ago. And I paid, I think I wanna say $25.99, it's super heavy. And this is something that is a focal point. It's gonna serve us as a focal point. So she's gonna go right here. And as you can see, just by creating a little vignette with some statuary, with some plants, it really does create a mood. Now I'm gonna bring the big bouquet that I show you how to make on our last video. It's a massive forsythia bouquet and you will see how much impact that will create. Keep watching. All right, so this is the bouquet that I show you how to make on our last video. Okay, so I'm gonna start with some of the longer ones. And as you guys can see, by adding that skewer, it really is giving it a lot more height to my bouquet. And now remember the center one is your core and you always want to insert in an angle and make it radiate from that core. Think of a tree, think of any tree in your backyard. If I was to insert it, straight up, it would not give it any girth to the arrangement. And you just make them look like they grew from that core. Okay. I'm gonna do one more right here, four. And then I'm gonna do one more right here. And so now what I wanna do is, I'm gonna move my step ladder from the bottom, a little step up. So in between the short one and the tall one, I'm gonna insert one. And keep in mind to insert in an angle so that way it looks like it's growing from your core. If you have not seen it, I'm gonna throw it up so you can check it out how it's done. And what I was talking to you about is how big and how bold this bouquet is just sitting right here on the urn. And it really gives you that yellow pop that you really needed. It creates drama all the way to the ceiling and it's gonna coordinate with the rest of our accessories. So we're gonna set the table, but before we set the table, I'm gonna show you the pillows and the cushions that we're gonna use to create a very inviting setting. All right, you guys, so these are the cushions that we've had for several years now. <laughs> Actually, we need uh, to invest in new ones, but I was just telling Jamison that this furniture is probably gonna go to my mom when we can right. um, buy, a, uh, well, actually when the stores are open so we can buy something. Soon, hopefully. hopefully soon, so we can go out shopping exactly. and buy a new set. But meanwhile, this will have to do. So I have this white one. I really like to start with a base. So we're gonna put this one on our chair. So as you can see, they fit right in. And then we're gonna add these yellow cushions that you've seen all over the home. You've seen them in the dining room, you've seen them in the living room. And I just love the way these guys look like this. And they really pull all the yellow to that statement piece. We're gonna set the table and I will show you how it all comes together. Keep watching. So there's been a lot of questions with our windows and why we chose to use the windows for our patio. And we received these windows as a gift and we brought them from Kansas to here to San Diego. And we were trying to figure out what could we use these windows for. We knew we wanted to incorporate them in the patio for an indoor and outdoor setting and get a nice warm feeling. However, we originally thought of for dividing, creating a faux wall of using bamboo, some kind of Roman shade style but we realized quickly with the wind that would, wouldn't work and that wouldn't be an option. The idea for me, I was thinking more of a wind chime. You have your base and the tops are able to be flexible and move with the wind. And we just kind of built our ideas upon that and it worked. And if you want to see a tutorial of how we did it, there is a video and I'm going to link it up right now. And now back to the video.
All right, so I wanna show everybody how you can use all the accessories that you already have around the home. And in our last, one of our last videos, I show you how to create a beautiful tablescape using the exact same things that we used inside. We're gonna set the table right here. So we're gonna start with this charger and we're gonna go ahead and place it right here. Then we're gonna grab our basic white dish. And I really think that everybody could just do with a basic white dish because everything looks much cleaner. Always. Always. So we're gonna go ahead and put our dish right here. Then we're gonna use one of these foliages. This is a Monstera foliage that was used in our centerpiece. We're gonna lay that down. Jamison is learning how to set the table. That actually goes the other way. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to mirror. When you're setting a table for two, you always have to mirror. So if I go this way, you have to go this way right here. And then we're gonna set our napkin right on top of it. And then on top of that, we're gonna use our bowl. And just like that, you have a beautiful setting for your table. We're gonna bring a little centerpiece that all tie it all together. All right, you guys, so the next step is to add your statement piece. And I have the same bouquets that we use for our centerpiece. Now we're gonna bring them out into our table here outside. So I wanna show you how this one creates a little bit of drama. And if you put the candlesticks right beside one on each side, they are about the same height. So balance. it is balanced. However, I do think that if I add the smaller one right here, it really does create that feeling of height difference that we need and so we're gonna set it like that and this is gonna go on to the little coffee table in front of us stay tuned all right everyone so now that we've gone to this point we're gonna bring some wine glasses and james is gonna show you that these longer ones really do create and play with the height of the setting and i love the way this is looking with the forsythia bouquet right behind so far so pretty Okay, so now I wanna show you what is it that is right across from the table we just got done setting. And it is the third piece to our set, the ZT. And to make it match perfectly and coordinated with the rest of the decor, I went ahead and brought the same white cushion that I have for the ZT and the matching pillow that goes perfectly with the rest of the decor. I cannot wait for you guys to see the panoramic view, but let me talk a little bit about the centerpieces. I show you how to make these three centerpieces on a DIY for a tablescape. Well, I really do encourage you to reuse all of your past projects. Like this centerpiece was used for a tablescape. Well, now I'm breaking it down and I'm using one of the small ones. I'm just gonna set it right here on the coffee table. And remember, we have the other smaller one right on the dining table. Then I'm gonna use the tall one right here and make it look cohesive all the way through. That is one of the secrets that I can give you. Always reuse your projects. Move them around the house. That way you don't have to spend tons of money because when you move them somewhere else, it really does give it new life. And actually it tricks your mind to think that it's something new just because it is placed in a new place. All right, you guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with a friend. Invite them to come and join Ramon at home for future decorating and summer ideas. All right, let me give you a secret. I have something really special planned for our next video and you cannot miss it. Oh, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to follow me for daily Insta stories because what girl doesn't like decorating tips every day or right on your phone? Let's get back to the video. All right, everyone. So before we show you the end result of what we've been working on for so hard, I want to suggest that if you are interested in more decorating ideas for your patio, I have a full playlist down below of all of the patio decorating that we've done in the past few years, including the windows that Jamison suggested earlier. Are you excited? Oh, yes, absolutely. All right, let's do it.
Well, that's all we have for today. And we really hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think? Oh, I love it. Absolutely. What was your favorite part? Oh man, there's so many. I'm going to have to see the windows. I have to say the bouquet. It was super fun to work with and I actually love the whole look, but I cannot wait for you guys to leave me your comments down below and let me know what do you think. We cannot wait to read your comments. Exactly. And if you don't know, there's a full playlist down below of all of our patio makeovers so you can get some inspiration. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's it. And we're enjoying the patio. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And while you subscribe, don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you're notified about every single upload. We cannot wait to come back with more. So keep watching, stay tuned, stay blessed and stay safe. Until next time. Bye. Ciao. And if you want to see the video of how we did it, and if you want to see the tutorial of how we did it, there is a video and I'm going to link it up. Why is that? <laughs> you were doing good. Sucker's not coming out. Okay, come here. Tap him on the side. Pull it. Tap him on the side. No, it's not, it's just pull. Okay. Just set it right there. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to transform my patio. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to transform my backyard. No. On today's video,